Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Let's talk about wisdom. We all think that we have so much knowledge, we have all the information, and that may well be true, but that doesn't necessarily translate into wisdom. Um, if we go through challenging times, and when we get out of those challenging times, usually we're like, oh, thank God this is over. Thank God I've passed through this time and I'm kind of okay now. The question we should be asking ourselves is what have we actually learned by going through those challenges? What wisdom did we gain from the experiences we went through? What kind of lessons did we have to learn or what kind of lessons were imposed on us by going through these challenges? And only once you actually learn those lessons and you get the wisdom that was forced on you by these type of life lessons, only then will you be able to actually Re, uh, will you be able to go through life without having to repeat the same lessons over and over again? Yeah, that's where wisdom comes in. You may have all the knowledge, but if you haven't really translated that into wisdom, if you don't really realize what lesson it was that you had to learn um, by going through a challenge, a problem, an argument, a conflict, or even through a beautiful experience, then there's no wisdom attached to your life experiences. And so this particular Tsim and Dunzia manifestation um, that I'm going to talk about today will help you get the wisdom that you need to move forward. So the particular date and time that we're looking at is the 23rd of September and the time is 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. 23rd of September, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. So you don't have to translate that into any other time zone. It is what it is, local time, wherever you are, the 23rd of September. Uh, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And if you want, if you would like to do this particular manifestation, then before you go into it, actually think about a situation that you have currently experienced or just recently experienced um, that kind of forced decisions on you or, or forced you to do things or forced you to face your inner demons. Um, but you may feel like you haven't really learned what everything that you needed to learn. So think about one of those experiences that you've gone through recently. And then with this particular manifestation, you can actually ask the universe to provide you with the wisdom um, that you should have gotten out of that experience or to give you the insights that you uh, were to learn from this particular challenge. Yeah. So what you do on this particular day is you find a quiet place anywhere at home. I hope you're not working that late, but if you are, you can also do this at the office or you can just do this outside as well at the park, at the beach, wherever. Just find a quiet place where you are not interrupted. Ideally, turn off your phone or just put it on silence. You don't want to be disturbed or bothered by anyone while you're doing this. And then you sit in a very comfortable position and in such a way that you point with the back of your head towards the Southwest. And then most of you who've been following me for some time, you know exactly what you need to do to get into the sage mode. For those who are new, just take three deep breaths and then uh, count slowly from 64 down to one. One count, one breath, yeah? Don't rush it, really focus on the counting down from 64 down to one. And it happens sometimes that we're distracted by thoughts that come into our mind or, you know, just other things that we're thinking about. And then you may miss a count. Then you just start again at 64 until you go all the way through from 64 to one. And then once you're at count one, you take one more deep breath and then you visualize or you imagine or you feel, you see how you are connected with the back of the head towards um, an infinite uh, source of wisdom. Maybe you can visualize this as an energy source, or maybe it's it's like an energy cord that attaches to, you, to the back of your head. Whatever you may want to imagine, or maybe nothing at all, it doesn't matter. Just know that at this point, you are connected to a source of wisdom that is available to you uh, that is given to you by the universe. And then just request the universe to give you the wisdom that you need to uh, give you all everything that you need to know or understand 
to help you really uh, process the particular challenge or the particular situation that you've recently gone through so that you don't repeat that experience, especially if it was a negative experience. Yeah, we don't want to have to repeat this. Just ask the universe to provide you with all the wisdom that is needed to really truly understand yourself and the motivations of other people in that particular situation that you had to deal with. And then just sit with this particular energy. It may not come immediately, but just sit there and absorb whatever comes. It may just be a feeling or a sensation, maybe a tingling, or maybe you get a little bit warmer or a little bit colder, whatever it is, just let it happen. You may not immediately get, get that flash of inspiration or like, ah, now I know. Yeah, that may not come right there and then, but just let the energy flow and kind of let the energy download into your energy field into your own energy field into your own awareness and once you've done that for like i don't know maybe five ten minutes or so then you just say thank you thank the universe for granting you that wisdom and then you slowly count yourself up from one to five and you go about your day and then maybe uh the next day take a few moments to just kind of sit and reflect on uh whatever that situation was you wanted wisdom about and see whether there's something new. See whether you maybe see a different aspect now. Maybe you, you realize something that you hadn't seen before. Just, you know, be conscious of what is coming. And this may take a few days, yeah, because you yourself have only downloaded it just recently. And, you know, you need to process this for yourself. So it, it can take a few days, but just trust that the wisdom will be given to you. You just need to be open enough to then process it and hopefully also translate that into your real life, into your next few steps that you're taking so that you avoid repeating any negative experience. All right, so I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, any comments, uh, please leave them in the notes. Um, I've, I've put all my contact details there. You can email me, you can contact me there, or just put anything in the comment section. All right, I will see you in my next video. Take care.